Sports has icy skates now. <gasps> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <clears throat> this is going to be the best first brush gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. <sighs> no, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. <clears throat> it's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe <gasps> the green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah. What secret gift I get, though it can't be nearly as great as the one I gave Lemon. Oh, I wonder what it is! <laughs> wow, a book! A book about organizing books? Chapter 72 Big Books and Little Books Together on One Shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I gonna do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret gifty. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> love it! Glitters. No. Glittery. Glittery? No, 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 no. Glittering. Ring. Oh, that sounds best. What do you think, Pupcake? What? Custard? Mm -hmm. Oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know! Far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great! I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm, glittering. Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. to the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm... Not going. You... 
heart? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berry can. Good morning. Hi, Apple. Morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> my tablecloth! My... my... my table! Sorry, Blueberry. I think I've wrecked your racket. Oh, don't worry. This is a really old tennis racket. I was going to throw it away, but I kept thinking I might find something useful to do with it. Oh, if only it could somehow get me to Berry Bitty Dale. My patty persimmon is stuck there at the main post office. The butterfly bus is grounded, and... and... Oh, that racket won't help you. What you need are some ice skates. I heard the roads were frozen over. I don't have any ice skates, but maybe I could make some. Oh, but even if those work, Berry Bitty Dale is a long way to ice skate. Hmm. What is it, Custard? <gasps> Yahoo! That looked like... Uh, no, it couldn't have been. Could it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are amazing. <laughs> You get it? I am happy to report success! A Patty Persimmon Mystery. Tennis Caper, anyone? Part three! <sighs> ah! So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret giftee, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant. 
for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow, that's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen. I knew that was a good choice for Plum. Oh, nice. A book. Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm, maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. Hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the most wonderfully oversized first frost gift? Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is! Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm gonna get it for him. Ugh. No matter what. Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide a refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 Phew! Oh, muffin crumbs. Ooh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. Wait! Orange, your can stacking! It gives me an idea! What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit! <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Vinny World! Yeah! And after you win, we can eat it! You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too! Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo! <laughs> oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, 
Miss Raspberry? See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! I wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Huh, where are you going? finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know. I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding! Just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> is the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. Hi, Raspberry. How's it going? Well, I started out with a design I liked, but then, well, I wasn't so sure, so I made a couple changes, and pretty soon I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? 
right. <laughs> always in style, always in fashion. And it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There. Hiya, hiya. I'm a strawberry snow dress. How'd you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah, but now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? Blueberry? It's Plum. Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> See you! Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour... Apple! Saw the less he spoke, the less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke, the less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! It's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Meringue, are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi! Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no! 
You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. Doesn't like my biscuits. I must be a terrible cook. What'll I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious. And pay attention. And follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant! Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs>